Hotspot birding will be dictated in some part by our review of eBird Illustrated Checklists, which are essentially seasonal occurrence graphs or abundance graphs, giving us an idea of what birds are likely to be at a hotspot at any one time. So, in November, we'll be looking for waterfowl here at Sandy Ridge Reservation. And we know through these occurrence graphs that it is the right time to be here for many dabblers and some divers. For instance, we should have opportunities to see northern shovelers, northern pintails, American widgeon, green-winged teal, those birds in some abundance based on information we've gleaned over these historical records taken from eBird and their seasonal occurrence graphs or what they call their illustrated checklists. In the winter time, we'll be looking for gulls and we'll be using those same eBird illustrated checklists to give us an idea of where to look for the various gulls, what the likelihood of seeing those gulls is, and uh, working through the locations where the likelihood of those gulls is greatest. Uh, each of us that uses eBird should be aware on the hotspot pages of these illustrated checklists. They're terrific tools to help us really focus on one uh, general group of birds, or many, but certainly to know what birds are likely at a given hotspot at a given time of year.